So what I have here is something very nice because I'm able to catch components when uh, errors whenever they happens in, they happen inside of components. The problem is that the approach that I'm using is not the best one because I know that you don't want to do something like has error. like this with every component. That will be something not cool at all, all right? We want, it, we want to protect all components if we can, but we don't want to do this in every fucking render statement. So what I'm going to do now is to show you how you can make your own higher order component hook, okay? And by showing you how to make your, wow, this is too big, higher order component, you're going to be able to protect any component that you want. So let's make it here. I'm going to say const, uh, let's call this boundary hook. All right. Yeah. And what this is going to take as a uh, argument is going to take my component or let's call it protected component. All right. And this is going to take, this is going to be a function. And what this function is going to uh, return is a class of, let's call this boundary hook, extends, not boundary hook, let's call it something different. Um, boundary, whatever, extends component as if it was, it's a React component basically. And I'm going to return something. All right, but first I'm gonna set the state on this component and the state is has error, false. And as you can see, this looks very similar to what we did here. And that's exactly what we're going to do, just that we're going to do something different at the end. So I'm going to put everything back to its place, no problem. And now here on the boundary, I'm going to say component did catch, And when I catch, I'm going to say this set state has error true. All right. And now on the render statement is where the fun begins. All right. I'm going to get has error from the state. And I'm going to say if this component has error, return fallback, error fallback. Sorry. Remember, error fallback, it's here. Sorry, something went wrong. That is error fallback, all right? But if the component doesn't have an error, I'm going to return protected component. And that's how you make a higher order component. So if you wanted to protect error maker, if you wanted to protect port outs and return types, if this was on a separate file, it would be very, very easy, but it's on the same file, so I'm gonna show you how to do it on a different, on the same file. Basically, we have error maker here, all right? And I'm going to say const protected or p, p for protected error maker. This is equals to boundary higher order component error maker is the same with protected portals. I protect the portals and it's the same thing with return types. So it's the same bullshit. I'm going to return the protector, protected portals and protected error maker. All right, I'm just returning the component that is inside of the other component. As you can see here, protected portals and protector error maker. And we have it here, all right? As you can see, I'm wrapping one component inside of the other component. If you wanted to protect application also, you could do the same thing. You could just do this. And now application is going to be inside of a higher order component, all right? So if we come back here, this has an error still, but we have the same thing. Sorry, something went wrong. But this is automatic. We're not doing anything on app. We're just protecting components based on uh, the higher order component that we created. Like I told you, if this was on different files, you could do this at the end of this file. 
use export your component wrapped in the error boundary component that you created, all right? And any component that fails is going to show error fallback. So your whole application is gonna keep running and it's not gonna break. That's how you make error boundaries with higher order components. This is my favorite feature, my, my first favorite feature. In the next video, I'm gonna show you the last and my second favorite feature. And that's it for this video. See you on the next one.